Building a Load-Bearing Tower by Kelsey Ann Matsumoto and John Rambella. Period 5 Physics. Woo the goal of this experiment is to design an index card tower that will hold up to three bricks for at least eight seconds without using over $101 in tong materials. And by tong materials, we mean index cards, staples, and folds. The tower must be at least 47 centimeters tall. If we make a tower in the shape of a triangle, it will hold three bricks because triangles are the strongest shapes because it has three sides and will not buckle under the weight of the bricks. Your safety is very important to us, so please abide by the following rules. Wear safety goggles. Wear covered shoes. Work in an area with no fragile items around just in case your tower falls. Handle bricks with care. Some variables that could affect the tower could be the tower's base being uneven, wind, the table surface being not leveled, and faulty material. Here are some materials that you'll need. You'll need a flat surface, index cards, a stapler, staples, scissors, timer, and bricks. Upon researching shapes, we found out that triangles are the strongest shape. Shapes like pentagons and squares collapse when weight is applied. According to the Canada Science and Technology Museum, triangles are the strongest shapes. Triangles are used to create a very strong form called a truss. The independent variables include how many staples, folds, and cards were used because the mount affects how much weight the tower can hold. The dependent variable is how much weight the tower can hold. How to build an index card tower. First, take a 5x8 index card. Holding the card horizontally, make a mark at 5 centimeters. Then, make a vertical line at the 5 centimeter mark. This is where your tower's levels will overlap. Repeat this process 5 more times. On the index card, fold the second line underneath the red line. Flip the card over and fold the fifth line. Take two index cards and put them together. Now, staple on the top and bottom of one of the folds. Now staple another index card, just like you just previously did, and then add another one, and it will look like a triangle. Fold an index card into four even parts. Then make a triangle out of it, and staple the part that is overlapping. For the third layer, create another large triangle by combining three index cards. Staple on the folds. Create four new small triangles for the third layer but cut off another 5 centimeters since we overlap the third layer with the second layer. Once you have done that, you can add the small triangles into the large triangle, and you have finished your tower. If there are any weak spots in your tower, then staple it to make it more secure. Once you have finished securing your tower to your heart's desire, you're finished! The total cost of our tower was $149, and it held up 3 bricks for 8 seconds. From this experiment, we can understand now why architects use triangles in buildings and bridges. It's because they're very strong and support a lot of weight.